Hi again, and welcome to the National 5 videos for simultaneous equations. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we solve simultaneous equations by one of our algebraic methods, and that is the substitution method. So, solving by substitution, this is an algebraic method of solving the simultaneous equations. And this method actually involves us substituting one of our equations into the other. One thing we need to note about this, though, is that it can only be done when the equations are in the form x equals or y equals. So one of the variables must be on their own. If it's not, you need to rearrange this so that it is in this form. OK, so take some time just now to copy this into your notes shorter. OK, here's example number one for you. So we want to solve the system of equations y equals 4x plus 1 and 3y minus 2x equals 23. But we can clearly see here that this first equation says y equals. So we're ready to substitute. To begin with, what we're going to do is just to label them 1 and 2. So equation 1 and equation 2. Just so that we don't need to write out the full equation all the time. So this first equation tells us that y is equal to 4x plus 1. If you want to substitute that into the second one, what we're really going to be doing here is to replace every y that we see by this whole thing, 4x plus 1. So that's really going to go into there. So we'll start off by stating what we're going to do. So we want to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So anytime we see y, we're going to replace it by 4x plus 1. So since we have 3y, that means we're going to have 3 lots of 4x plus 1. Then we have to take away 2x, that's not going to change, and it's still equal to 23. Now what you should hopefully see now is that the equation we have in front of us is only in terms of x. There's no y's there anymore. And now that we've only got one variable, we can actually solve it for x. So to do that, we need to first of all get rid of the brackets, collect up like terms, and then solve it. So if we expand out this bracket, we're going to get a 12x plus 3. The negative 2x stays as it is, and that's the 23 for now. We can collect up our like terms, so we've got 12x take away 2x here, that would leave us with 10x, so we have 10x plus 3 equals to 23, and now hopefully you should see that we've just got a simple two-step equation to solve. So we want to undo all the operations around about the x here, so we've got a plus 3, so we'll take it away from both sides, and that gives us a 10x equals 20. 10x is actually a multiplication, so we're going to divide by the 10 get an answer for x to be x equals 2. Now we're halfway there. We're looking to fully solve this. So for simultaneous equations, remember that we're always looking for a value for x and a value for y. If we now have a value of x, we've got an equation there, equation number 1, that says y equals 4 lots of x plus 1. So from here, all we need to do is to substitute our value of x into that equation, and we'll get our value of y. So we'll say we'll solve, we'll sub x equals 2 into 1. So anytime we see an x this time, we're going to replace it by a 2. So we have y equals to 2x, so 4x plus 1. x now takes on the value of 2, so that's 4 lots of 2 plus 1. So that's 8 plus 1, which gives us 9. To finish off, our solutions, x equals 2, when y equals 9. And then we've solved the simultaneous equations by substitution. Take some time just now to copy this into your notes shorter. Okay, here's example number 2. Now the two equations we're looking at this time, are 4x plus y plus 7 equals 0, and 2y minus 3x minus 8 equals 0. Neither of these equations say x equals or y equals. So we have a, a job to do first, and that is to rearrange one of them so that it does. I'm going to go for the first one. So if we look at 4x plus y plus 7 equals 0, the reason I've chosen that is because y itself doesn't have a number before it, and that's positive. So it's probably going to be a bit easier for us to rearrange for got positive 4x and a positive 7. They both need to go over to the other side of the equation. So this first equation becomes y equals to negative 4x minus 7. 
So now we're ready to do our substitution. So we have equation 1 and equation 2 again. So equation 1 tells us that y is equal to negative 4x minus 7. So we're going to take this equation and we're going to substitute it into number 2. So again, any time we see a y, we're going to replace it by this whole expression, negative 4x minus 7. So we have two lots of y, which means we have two lots of negative 4x minus 7. Then we have the takeaway 3x, the takeaway 8, and that's equal to 0. Again, we've got an equation here that's just in terms of x. So we want to get rid of the brackets by expanding it out, collect up like terms, and then solve it. So 2 times the negative 4x gives the negative 8x. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Minus the 3x minus the 8. Still equal to 0. Now we have negative 8x take away 3x. That gives us a total of negative 11x. Minus 14. Minus 8 equals 0. We can now deal with the numbers. So we have negative 14, negative 8. So that gives us negative 11x minus 22 equals to 0. And from here we want to solve it for x. So let's add 22 to both sides to get negative 11x equals to 22. And then divide by the negative 11. So we're dividing a positive by negative. So we're going to end up with a negative answer. So we get negative 2. Again, that's how it's got one of our variables. To get the second variable, y, we need to take this value and substitute it into one of the equations. So we sub x equals negative 2 into either of the equations, it doesn't really matter. But again, the first one we've already rearranged, so it says y equals, so let's use that. So anytime we see an x here, we're going to replace it by negative 2. So we have y equals to negative 4x minus 7. So we have negative 4 times negative 2 take away 7. The negative 4 times the negative 2 gives us a positive 8. So 8 take away 7 leaves us with a value of 1. So there we've solved for the second variable. So our solution to these simultaneous equations, x equals negative 2 and y equals to 1. Again, pause the video just now and copy this into your notes jotter. Okay, here are a few questions for you to try just now before you go to your class. So we've got two systems of equations to solve. Try solving them both using the substitution methods. Remember, one of your equations for each needs to be in the form of x equals or y equals. If it's not, rearrange it. Right, so hopefully you've managed to do that. So here are your solutions. For the first set of equations, you should have x equals 1 and y equals 2. We should have substituted equation 1 into the number 2 that time. For the second one, we should have rearranged one of the equations to give us a solution of x equals 2, y equals 1. In the next video, we're going to be looking at a second algebraic method, and that will be the elimination method.